Newt Gingrich, a.k.a. Gassy Newt. <laughs> I mean, come on. The dude looks like he permanently has gas. He looks just like he is in the dictionary under the definition of bloated. Like, he just looks fucking bloated. He's not fat. He's not fat. He's just bloated permanently. Gassy Newt. That's who he is. So he went on Laura Ingram's show, and um, they beat up on a straw lefty all day. So, I don't, I shouldn't even have to explain this, but I will nonetheless. A straw man, you know, when you straw man somebody, you make up what their position is and then you beat it down. This is the straw lefty. Make up what the left believes and act like this is like central to their philosophy or something and then beat it down. So, let's watch and then we'll discuss. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, Fox News contributor and host of the new podcast, Newt's World. All right, Speaker, you and I have been in running around Washington for a long time watching these various debates the culture wars, and so forth. Why are the Democrats continuing to have this blind spot on where many in the middle reside on issues such as the issue of life? Oh, look, but I think that the uh, true faith of the left wing of the Democratic Party is now in full blossom. I think they get together in meetings, talk to each other, go out to fundraisers with people who agree with them, and you know, convince themselves, for example, as you pointed out. I mean, I, I, if you had ever said to me 5, 10, 15 years ago that we would be approving infanticide, and as you point out, the New York legislature would be applauding and cheering that they'd pass the right to kill babies after they're born, uh, this is grotesque. And most Americans don't agree with it. But among the hardcore left, on issue after issue after issue, uh, they believe things that I think, personally, are crazy uh, and that I, I don't think the American people will endorse. And I think it may set up a 1972 George McGovern disaster where they end up so far out on a left-wing limb that people decide they just can't vote for him. Well, I think, Newt, it, going back to Phyllis Schlafly and the Equal Rights Amendment, you know, she successfully led the effort to kill the ERA. I remember reading about how the Democrats back then thought, oh, we got them now. We're, we're going to vanquish the Republican Party forever. And what happened a few years later, Ronald Reagan was elected. So, I mean, they've been, they've been hitting the same drum for decades about the social issues. Well, but these social issues don't go away. The Democrats just keep uh, moving further and further to the left. Look, I was in California over the weekend talking to people. And the number of women who came up to me and said they're really worried because they think their daughters are not going to be able to have a successful women's sports program because of the drive of the Democrats to basically allow transgender males uh, to dominate women's sports. And I don't think people have realized yet what an assault this is going to be oh my uh, on women and on their right to, to compete. Uh, but that's the sort of thing you're not going to get Vogue magazine to print, and you're not going to get The New York Times to print. Uh, and that's why it takes a while. The country gradually recoils after the uh, left-wing establishment has done all it could. And I think you're going to see that kind of recoil on 8 or 10 or 12 issues this, fall, this, this coming year. Yeah. No, no, you're not. There are no 8 or 10 or 12 issues where the left is out of the mainstream. On the overwhelming majority of the issues, the left is the mainstream. Let's be clear about that. Medicare for all, free college, living wage, and the wars, these are all overwhelmingly popular. Raising taxes on the rich, overwhelmingly popular. Okay, but put that aside. Newt Gingrich wants you to believe multiple women came up to him in California to express to him, Oh, Newt! Newt! You don't understand. It keeps me up at night thinking that transgender athletes will ruin my little girl's sporting event. There's a 0% chance even one person came up to Newt and said, Newt, I must confide in you about the scourge of transgender athletes taking over my little girl's sporting event. Come on, even if you're a conservative, you believe that story that he just told? You believe that? 
like, this is the first thing on people's mind, and even if it was on people's mind, this is what somebody would walk up to Newt Gingrich and say? <laughs> I mean, come on, they're playing- you're a mark. They're playing you for suckers. What they do is, they will straw man, like, what the left is all about, and then they just beat up on it all day. Look at the beginning. He said that the left is for infanticide. I got news for you. The left is not for infanticide. Uh, you want to talk about being in left-wing circles? I think I'm familiar with that. I know every prominent lefty uh, political commentator, and they- Not a single one of them has ever said anything about infanticide or believes in infanticide. What they do is they're strawmanning um, legislation that allows for late-term abortions in the cases of rape, incest, and if the life of the mother is in danger. Because, uh, according to the Guttmacher Institute, so this is, you know, the people who do the actual research, 80% of abortions occur before, I think it's six weeks. It's either six or 12. And then, um, 90% of abortions occur before 12 weeks, and 99% of abortions occur before 20 weeks. Just to put that in perspective, viability is about 23 weeks. So 99% of abortions in this country, again, according to the Guttmacher Institute, not Kyle, 99% of the abortions in this country occur before viability, before the nervous system is developed in the fetus. So really, in the overwhelming majority of cases, we're talking about fucking gametes and zygotes and embryos, okay? So, they know they can't win the debate on those grounds. They can't win the debate on those grounds. So what do they do? I don't know, just say that the left is in favor of killing babies. They literally- I've heard this repeatedly now. Trump spoke about it, now uh, Gassy Newt is sp speaking about it. Gassy Gingrich, Gingrich or Gassy Newt? Which one do you like better? I guess Gassy Gingrich because it's double G. Sorry, Glenn Greenwald. But he's the original Double G, Gassy Gingrich. Um, now I see, I forgot where I was going because I was talking about Gassy Gingrich. <laughs> um, oh, I've heard them all talk about it. I've heard them all talk about, oh my god, infanticide. I need to be clear about this. Literally, the only times you ever have late-term abortion in this country, rape, incest, life of the mother is in danger, or, or, there's what's called a fatal defect in the fetus meaning that the fetus will not survive. These are the only times in the U.S. that there's ever late-term abortion. So what do they do? They make it, they straw man so that they have the debate on their terms where they just lie about what the, what the left position is, and they just say, oh, oh my god, I can't believe you guys are in favor of uh, murdering babies. Murdering babies? What the fuck are you- Of course we're not in favor of fucking murdering babies! Are you insane? So, it's- it's unbelievable. Now, by the way, he also, uh, implies there that, like, Oh, the left has gone so far left and the American people don't agree with them. <laughs> Actually, the American people totally agree with the left on abortion. Look at the Gallup poll on it. Um, do you think abortion should be legal under any circumstances, legal only under certain circumstances, or illegal in all circumstances? As you could see there, 50% say it should be legal only under certain circumstances. That's Roe versus Wade. 29% um, believe it should be legal under any circumstances. And the least popular position, which is the position that Republicans are increasingly pushing for with legislation in all these red states is 18% illegal in all circumstances. So the overwhelming majority position is the left position. Roe versus Wade and the subsequent fetal viability case says up until the point of viability, well, Roe versus Wade was trimesters. It got rid of the trimester standard and, and did fetal viability post Roe versus Wade. And what that means is up until the point of viability, it's a woman's right to choose completely. But then after viability, then states can regulate it as they see fit. That, so in other words, the abortion law that we have at the federal level and in the majority of the country, that's what the American people believe in. And Newt has to pretend like, Ah, oh, the left is for killing babies, and I, sir, am against murdering babies. Aren't I so moral? No, actually, you're not. You're for every fucking war under the sun, and you're also for cutting the social safety net programs and kicking off these kids as soon as they're born. So, uh, totally, totally, totally full of shit. And, um, I hope everybody can see through it, but my guess is this rhetoric actually lands because... 
everybody's obviously against killing babies, so when he pretends like the left is for killing babies, there are enough clowns out there who will go, I guess the left is for killing babies. And they'll take shit out of context, like the governor, is it Northam, who said something in an interview about leave it up to the mother or whatever. Um, but again, the only time we actually do late-term abortions in this country is for life of the mother, rape, incest, and a fatal fetal defect. But I think it, it, it could land because... There's enough of a kernel in there where people go, where some people will go, oh, yeah, I guess they're right. The left is for killing babies and the right is for protecting babies or whatever bullshit. And, um, oh, yeah, the left has totally rallied around this trans sports issue, which, by the way, again, I haven't seen any rhetoric on that, any bills on that. Listen, they work overtime to effectively deflect the conversation from the most important issues in the country, which are healthcare, the economy, wages, uh, college and, and medical debt, uh, or excuse me, um, student loan debt, medical debt too. So just deflect the conversation from all, like war, we're trying to fucking topple Venezuela and Iran again, adding to the list of wars, deflect everything from the substance, and then hammer away on, like, a tiny fringe of ultra-social justice warriors and pretend like that represents the entire fucking left and pretend like the left is for killing babies and pretend like everybody on the left agrees on trans sports, which they do don't at all. So it's beyond ridiculous, and I hope everybody can see through it.